may not mean nothing to y'all But understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping Hey everybody, we're here at the Ward Family Ranch uh, my name's Jordan Dooley with Earn Purple, and we're here to uh, talk about rumen stimulation today. Uh, this is going to pertain to your goat and sheep and cattle guys. Sorry, hog people, we love you, but this is just going to be strictly for our rumen and animals and making sure that we get the most out of our um, concentrated grain. And I think it really all starts with rumen stimulation. So there's something that to really get the most out of your alfalfa and get the most out of your feed program, really focus on priming that gut, making sure that it's uh, ready, ready to go to absorb that high energy feed that you're going to be putting in to you know, process and put some fat on these animals and make sure they finish out correctly. So I really try to focus on starting with a heavy, rough, stimmy fiber and I think alfalfa is the most readily source. And what we like to do is that we like to separate the leaves from the stems and um, which turns your alfalfa bale into a concentrate, which in turn also is going to make sure that you're going to save money because you're going to make that bale last a lot longer because you have a lot less waste. The sheep waste a lot less, you're going to take more hay in, and I think that's really the most important thing to your ration is making sure they have proper room and stimulation because your grain is pretty much meaningless if you don't have that going on. So what we like to do here is say we get a big old a leafy pile of alfalfa right here and the main thing we're going to do first is we're going to start shaking out all these leaves okay and to, I like to do it into a big trash can you can get more done that way okay try to really shake the leaves to the bottom of this trash can really really important to do that because the main thing is is you can give these leaves uh, later with your grain but you first want to scratch that gut up and spark the microvilli and the papillae stimulation really really important for these animals to get a good scratch in their gut to make sure that they um, have their own microbial profile they make their own um, probiotic per se and I think that that's the difference between ruminants and all other animals is that they chew their cuts so they need a rough stimmy source of fiber to really prime their gut to absorb other high concentrates so really to get the most out of it we're gonna feed a fine chopped stem first so what I like to do is you want to shake out shake out all these leaves okay really really important shake out all these leaves first and you got these stems okay rough stems now also what you're gonna do here is you're gonna after you shake out all your leaves I like to just get an empty bag per se and what you want to do here is you're gonna just break them up okay break them up into finer pieces like so try to break them up in the bag so where you have instead of having a really a long stem fiber something like this you've got a shorter stem so when that sheep goes to grab the food he's gonna grab just a mouthful of these versus grabbing this and have other pieces fall on the ground so in a sense you're gonna get a lot more stems in them and also these fibers are gonna do a lot more because they're smaller they're shorter they're gonna move around in that gut and have um, you know more functionality per se right in their rumen so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna crush all those up okay make them into something where it looks like this now okay and what you want to do with your stems you want to feed these stems about 30 minutes 15 to 30 minutes before you give your grain and your leaves because this is going to prime that gut to just open up that rib scratch that rumen and make sure that it, it really starts the whole functionality aspect of their digestional tract their whole system needs to be started with this rough stemmy fiber and honestly guys if you if you do this um, and really just put your leaves in your feed so you have have your stems right here okay then at the bottom of your barrel, this is where all your, let's say like energy source, your leaves and things like that. Okay, your leaves are your real energy source, your alfalfa. And I mean, if you're feeding a high quality 18%, 4% or above fat uh, textured ration, you're gonna have enough energy as itself. So they're really the main aspect about the alfalfa is to make sure you get the rough steaming fiber in them. And I, and I readily recommend, Whitney and I definitely both do, recommend um, getting these stems in them before the grain and before the leaves. To say, if you're painting a house, you wanna make sure you get a good primer on the walls first so the paint will stick. That's the aspect of the stems in the diet of these ruminants and really to get the most out of your grain and to make these sheep more practical and to really cut cost in a sense of every Every aspect concentrating this alfalfa and turning it into a stem leaf type of type of way of feeding is way more efficient way more practical so again guys shake those leaves out okay give these stems you know about 30 minutes before you know you can break them up so they don't waste as much make sure they eat all these stems and you can give them their grain their leaves a little bit of water liquid supplement per se everything after they've eaten their stems really important to rumen stimulation and it's really gonna get more bang for your buck and more out of a bag of feed 
So in reality guys, thanks. Hopefully we helped you a little bit about room and stimulation today. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Peace, have a wonderful day. I'm only getting started.